and then he keeps saying the word fault. It's all my fault. It's my fault. It's all my fault. So I really noticed that yesterday. Everything's fault. So this is where reframes might come in. Yeah, I'm working with it. I, I say, I hear your fault and I raise you this or, you know, or I, I hear that you don't, you're not sneaking that past me. Um, you know, stuff like that. So I'm catching it and bringing it to the surface. Um, and he did listen to the meditation on his own last night. So part of me is just so aware he has to do it. I can't can't do it for him because if I do it's not going to be a it's not going to be a fix it's just going to be a band-aid well it's not um helping him essentially is it in a sense grow if you're doing it for him just by so no. with you it, everything's better so I'm um, this is where maybe linguistics help because um if this stuff is real the NLP stuff, which I found it to be, and if it's if it operates in every part of our existence, it's a, a framework to explain stuff. Then um, sometimes, where things aren't um, as comfortable or moving on as as wonderfully as we'd like them to be, and in your case, in my case, quite often. It's that point where it involves other people because we know how it ought to be going and it's even more frustrating when it's not particularly when they're close to you and you're going to think it's covert but it's not really it's a more of a, a a literal analysis of things so an experiment hear the word an experiment would be um if you've brought things to the fore and You're not getting that past me. It's fault. It's fault. I, I hear your fault. And I, if you experiment with a a different tactic, such as well, what's another reason? What's another word for fault? Well, what what's another reason for fault is even if he doesn't answer, and if you say it as you walk away, the unconscious mind will keep processing, as you know, and it will kind of train him to think of an alternative word for fault hopefully he comes forward with in his own head with responsibility because great it's your responsibility because you can respond in a new way you know? right so it's moving i like it sticks. so if yeah it's fault and they've um they've got a perception they've got it's anchored right it's a terrible thing and I can't move on from there. Fault is like should and it's terrible and it's... You know. What's another word for fault? Ah, responsibility. Oh, ability to respond. Well, thank, good it, thank God it's your fault then. Why? Because you can do something about it if it's your fault, if it's your responsibility. You have lots of abilities to respond to this. You know? Um, I like it. Opening up to choice. I think at the moment it feels like it's that yeah, honestly, he just needs to see you. Yeah. You, uh, he's avoiding you because he knows. Well, it's just trust. Like, he's seen a couple of my other friends, and they didn't actually help them. Him, they kind of helped him, but they didn't actually help him. So now it's that like making yourself vulnerable for another person that's not actually going to help you, because he's been through the counselors and the shrink, and then you know. You you can do it. Probably through linguistics and probably by stepping back from what I usually do and just playing with this, experimenting with it in another way, meet the client where they are. It seems to be more tricky when it's somebody we're really close to because we preempt their next move. You know? Do it as a healing then. Do it as a relationship. Do it yeah. as I want to better this relationship because... Um, he's a reflection of you, your reflection of him, your team, you know, and somebody in the team isn't pulling the weight at the moment. Come on, you know, see, as a, this is a relationship. This is, um, ooh, yeah, the spark, yeah, the spark, but also the, 
reframe. And I thought, yeah, okay, reframe. And what came to me was association with the word money is a low vibration money. Is it, feel the difference in this money. I need more money. On the perceptual like, thing, I recognised I need a reframe. And what came to mind was revenue. Revenue. I like that. I, can yeah, I even like generating revenue with it. Yeah. I like that a lot. Generator. And I thought, what a difference a word makes. Yes. What about the person's relationship with the word? Yes. Yes. Yeah. And you can't even tell people sometimes what your relationship is because it spans on decades and lifetimes and scenarios and limiting beliefs and parents and has given you the gift unconsciously albeit and probably lots of other gifts but in my mind the unconscious is saying this is how to help me this is how to help me and it's beyond their conscious radar and if you yeah. have done to the word fault fault is where the magic is because if you can get him to reframe for himself the word fault into for example, his ability to respond to this in a new way. Whoa, thank goodness it's his fault. And I might just come right out and say, we were working on reframe today, so I, I chose fault. So we, cho we reframed fault to responsibility and responsibility to ability to respond. And Does he like to fix things? Yes, Mechanical. kind of. <laughs> right. If the toaster had a fault, would he fix it? That's a bit heavy. But you'd reframe it in your own way. Yeah. There's some sort of fault here. You say there's a fault. I didn't say there's a fault. You say there's a fault. If it's, yeah. oh, we're taking it out of the personal, you know, the, the um, identity. He's not at fault. There happens to be a fault. People aren't fat. People happen to have fat. I don't. I don't say I am blue eyes. I have blue eyes. He is not the fault. There is a fault. Remember association and disassociation? Yeah. If he can disassociate from fault and take it out of the identity level, oh, oh, there's a fault in our environment. There might be a fault in our behavior and our skills and abilities. And maybe even our belief system. You might believe that this can't be resolved. There's all these stepping stones we've learned. Oh, so where's the fault? Because it's certainly not at the identity level. I don't think you're at fault. I don't think you are the fault. I think there is a fault. And I think we have a responsibility, an ability to respond to where that fault is. Yeah, there's something wrapped up in it. It's not quite fault in that way, though. No. Guilt. That's the big one. Yeah, I think he's guilt. You're good at guilt, though. He, it's not. I think he feels useless. Well, take. I'll take your useless, and raise it to powerless, and flip it over to powerful. Where does he feel powerful? So that's where the answer is. Uh, well,